Introduction In the depths of nature's sanctuary, a sprawling forest, with its ancient trees and vibrant underbrush, thrived as a testament to the earth's enduring beauty. This verdant oasis flourished at the edge of a bustling metropolis, where people hurried through life, sometimes oblivious to the quiet majesty that lay just beyond their urban horizon. Nestled in the embrace of this forest, a modest city stood as a beacon of modernity in the midst of nature's grandeur. But little did the residents of this city realize that they were perched on the precipice of a tragedy that would forever alter their lives. The interplay of two worlds, the tranquil realm of the forest and the ceaseless activity of the city, was about to collide in a cataclysmic event that would challenge the very core of human existence. As the story unfolds, we find ourselves in a world steeped in reality, where the allure of fiction gives way to the raw and poignant truths of life. This is a narrative not of mythical creatures or whimsical fantasies, but one that delves into the heart of human experience, unearthing the profound emotions and struggles faced by those grappling with the inexorable forces of nature. At its core, this is a story of sadness and tragedy, of sacrifices made in the name of selflessness and duty set against the backdrop of a forest and city ravaged by an unrelenting fire. The characters who populate this tale are not superhuman, but ordinary individuals who are thrust into extraordinary circumstances, revealing the depths of their humanity as they confront their worst fears. In the following chapters, we will walk in the footsteps of the people of this city and the brave figure. Daniel, who emerges as the embodiment of heroism in the face of unimaginable adversity. The events that transpire here are not the stuff of legend, but are instead a stark reminder of the fragility of our existence, and the indomitable human spirit that prevails in even the darkest hours. With a lexicon of 700 daily life English vocabulary words, this story seeks to immerse you in the intricate tapestry of human emotion, where words and sentences weave together to create a vivid portrayal of lives irrevocably altered by the inexorable march of nature. Inferno's Lament invites you to bear witness to the trials and tribulations of those who face the unforgiving flames of tragedy, in a tale that is as hauntingly beautiful as it is heart-wrenching. Chapter 1. The Forest's Warning In the quietude of the serene forest that bordered the bustling city, the story begins its journey with a scene of picturesque tranquility. It's a place where nature held sway, its rhythms untouched by the hustle and bustle of urban life. Tall, ancient trees stretched their limbs skyward, their leaves forming a lush canopy that filtered the golden sunlight. Birds flitted from branch to branch, composing a melodious symphony that resonated through the crisp morning air. The underbrush, a patchwork of verdant ferns and wildflowers, carpeted the forest floor, each tuft of greenery telling a silent story of the intricate ecosystems that had evolved over centuries. This forest was a sanctuary, a refuge from the noise and chaos of the nearby city. It was a place where the modern world's demands seemed a distant echo, and the timeless beauty of nature held the upper hand. For the residents of Pineville, the quaint village at the forest's edge, it was a source of pride and respite. Many of them ventured into the woods, seeking solace in its embrace, whether for a leisurely hike, a family picnic, or a simple moment of quiet reflection. However, there was an underlying sense of unease that had begun to permeate the community. With summer approaching, 
the once vibrant green leaves began to take on a new hue. They shifted from their lush, vibrant appearance to a brittle, parched state, signaling the onset of a dire transformation. The forest, once a haven of beauty, was morphing into a potential threat. A mere spark could ignite the dry foliage, setting the entire woodland ablaze. The residents of Pineville were not oblivious to this growing danger. They convened in their village hall, a rustic structure nestled amidst towering oaks and fragrant pine trees, to discuss their concerns. Voices buzzed with anxiety and uncertainty, and a sense of urgency filled the room as they grappled with the looming spectre of a forest fire. It was during this meeting that Daniel, a figure known for his unwavering dedication and love for Pineville and its natural surroundings, emerged as a beacon of hope. His grizzled features and weathered hands spoke of a lifetime spent in harmony with the forest. His calloused palms could, with equal ease, guide the axe to fell a tree for firewood or nurture a delicate sapling into life. With a voice that resonated with conviction, Daniel urged the residents to take immediate action. He spoke of the importance of creating firebreaks, meticulously clearing the underbrush, and stockpiling water reservoirs throughout the village. His words were not those of fear but of determined resolve. He appealed to their sense of community, reminding them of the shared responsibility to protect their homes and the forest they cherished. Under Daniel's leadership, the people of Pineville found a renewed sense of purpose. They set aside their doubts and fears and took up shovels and rakes, working tirelessly to create firebreaks and clear debris. The village was a hive of activity, and it became evident that the looming threat had awoken a collective spirit of resilience. The first chapter of this story sets the stage for the unfolding drama, as the forest, once a source of solace and beauty, transforms into a silent antagonist. The people of Pineville, under the guidance of Daniel, are stirred to action, setting the wheels of preparation in motion. It is a reflection of the real-world scenarios in which communities must come together to face an impending disaster, finding strength in unity and resolve in the face of adversity. The story captures the essence of human spirit and community themes that will resonate throughout the chapters to come. Chapter 2, A Dry Spell As the days rolled on and summer drew nearer, the ominous transformation of the forest continued unabated. The once green leaves of the towering trees had now withered into a brittle, brown mass that rustled mournfully in the breeze. The forest floor, which had once been a lush carpet of ferns and wild flowers, was now a parched expanse of tinder, ready to ignite at the slightest provocation. The oppressive heat of the sun bore down on Pineville and the surrounding forest, creating an atmosphere fraught with tension. The people of the village felt it in the very air they breathed, in the sweat that trickled down their brows as they toiled to prepare for the inevitable. It was a dry spell unlike any they had seen before, an unforgiving prelude to the looming catastrophe. In the village, the once lush gardens that adorned the front of houses had become a canvas of drought-stricken plants. The vibrant, colorful blossoms had faded, replaced by a desolate brown and a sense of abandonment. Even the chirping of birds, once a harmonious serenade, had grown sporadic, as if the forest's inhabitants sensed the impending danger and retreated into silence. 
during a community gathering held beneath the leafy canopy of a massive oak tree, the residents of Pineville took stock of their predicament. Anxiety was etched on their faces as they listened to the increasingly alarming weather reports. It was clear that their idyllic world was on the cusp of a transformation that would test their mettle in ways they could scarcely imagine. It was in this gathering that Daniel, once again, emerged as the voice of reason and determination. With the gathered villagers at his side, he addressed the crowd, emphasizing the importance of their preparations. He spoke of the increasing danger posed by the forest's growing vulnerability and the need for immediate action. The urgency of their situation was palpable. Dry spells like this one were rare, and their consequences were far-reaching. In the midst of the bone-dry forest, one spark could spell disaster, consuming not just the village but also the very heart of the forest they had grown to love and respect. As the chapter unfolds, it lays the groundwork for the impending tragedy. The dry spell serves as a foreboding backdrop, with nature itself hinting at the impending catastrophe. Pineville's residents, under the guidance of Daniel, come to terms with the gravity of their predicament. It is a testament to the unpredictability of nature's forces and the challenges faced by communities in preparing for impending disasters. The chapter sets the stage for the pivotal moments yet to come, as the threat of a forest fire becomes increasingly palpable. Chapter 3 Daniel's Resolve In the wake of the foreboding dry spell, the residents of Pineville found themselves facing an uncertain and perilous future. The forest that had once stood as their sanctuary had turned into a potential threat, and the summer heat bore down upon them with merciless intensity. But in the face of adversity, there was a glimmer of hope that shone brightly through the gathering storm. That beacon of hope was none other than Daniel, a stalwart figure in the Pineville community, whose unwavering commitment to the village and its natural surroundings had earned him the respect and admiration of all. Daniel, with his grizzled appearance and weathered features, embodied the essence of Pineville. His face bore the lines etched by countless seasons spent in the embrace of the forest, a testament to his lifelong communion with the natural world. His hands, calloused and strong, were equally adept at guiding the sharp blade of an axe through the trunk of a towering oak as they were at tenderly nurturing the delicate saplings of a new generation. In his eyes, one could discern a deep well of knowledge and an unbreakable bond with the land that surrounded Pineville. With a voice that carried the weight of experience and wisdom, Daniel addressed the residents of the village. His words resonated with a rare sense of determination, as he outlined a plan of action to confront the looming threat of a forest fire. He knew that this was not the time for fear or hesitation, but a moment for the community to rally together in the face of adversity. Daniel's message was clear and compelling. He spoke of the necessity of creating firebreaks, clearing away the dry underbrush, and establishing reservoirs of water throughout the village. His voice did not tremble with trepidation, but radiated a sense of resolve and hope that had long defined his character. His words kindled a renewed sense of purpose within the villagers, rekindling the spirit of unity that had always been the hallmark of Pineville. With Daniel's guidance, the people of Pineville began to set their plans into motion. They took up shovels and rakes, 
and soon the village was abuzz with the sounds of determined labor. Firebreaks were cleared, underbrush was meticulously removed, and water reservoirs were established at strategic points throughout the village. However, the efforts were not without their challenges. The summer sun bore down relentlessly, sapping the strength of the villagers as they toiled to prepare their defenses. Dust and sweat clung to their bodies as they worked long hours, their hands and backs aching with fatigue. The anxiety that had gripped them earlier now gave way to a sense of purpose, as they realized that they were taking proactive steps to protect their homes and the forest they held dear. This chapter of the story is a testament to the power of human determination and community solidarity in the face of adversity. It portrays Daniel as a central figure, leading the charge to protect Pineville from the impending catastrophe. The transformation of the community from fear to action reflects the resilience of human nature when confronted with a crisis, and the pivotal role played by individuals who inspire and lead by example. The stage is now set for the unfolding drama as the forest's once hidden threat becomes an all too real adversary. Chapter 4 The First Flames the oppressive heat of the summer sun hung heavily over Pineville and its surrounding forest, despite the determined efforts of the villagers to prepare for the impending disaster. The air was thick with anxiety, and the ominous dryness of the woods only added to the tension. The underbrush, which had been meticulously cleared in the days prior, lay in neat piles around the village a testament to the villagers' collective labor and dedication. It was a sweltering day, one that would forever be etched in the memories of Pineville's residents. A scorching wind blew through the trees, carrying with it a sense of foreboding. The leaves, now transformed into brittle tinder, rustled ominously in the breeze. Birds that had once sung melodious tunes had grown silent, as if sensing the impending catastrophe. In the early afternoon, as the sun reached its zenith, a wisp of smoke, barely perceptible at first, wafted through the trees. It was a faint omen, a harbinger of the calamity that was about to unfold. The people of Pineville, already on high alert, noticed the smoke and instinctively turned their eyes toward the forest's edge. The sight that met their gaze was nothing short of a nightmare. Amidst the trees, a flicker of orange and red danced, and the realization of what they were witnessing sent shivers down their spines. The forest, their beloved sanctuary, was ablaze. The flames leaped from tree to tree with a veracity that defied nature's balance, consuming everything in their path. Panic swept through the village like wildfire, and the residents knew that their worst fears had materialized. Their carefully prepared firebreaks and water reservoirs seemed futile in the face of the raging inferno. Within minutes, the forest fire had transformed from a distant threat into a menacing reality that encroached upon their homes. In the midst of chaos and fear, one figure stood out. It was Daniel, as resolute as ever, who sprung into action. With a voice that commanded the attention of the crowd, he directed the evacuation efforts. His courage and leadership provided a semblance of order in the midst of the turmoil. Villagers rushed to gather their loved ones, and the streets of Pineville were soon filled with a procession of terrified people carrying their most precious possessions. Children clung to their parents, while the elderly were supported by the younger generation. 
As the forest fire drew closer, the urgency of the situation became painfully apparent. In the ensuing chaos, Daniel realized that not everyone had reached safety. With selfless determination, he turned back to help one last family who had been left behind. The flames encircled them, trapping them in a nightmare of heat and fire. The family watched in horror as Daniel, their hero, shielded them from the fiery onslaught, knowing that he might not make it out alive. As the forest fire raged, the bravery of Daniel shone through, a beacon of hope and courage in the darkest of hours. In this chapter, the story takes a dramatic and tragic turn, as the first flames of the forest fire erupt. Panic grips the village, and the true test of courage and selflessness begins. The heroics of Daniel serve as a stark reminder of the extraordinary sacrifices made by individuals in the face of calamity. This chapter marks a turning point in the narrative, setting the stage for the devastating events yet to come. Chapter 5 A Hero's Sacrifice as the first flames of the forest fire raged around them, the residents of Pineville were gripped by a profound sense of terror and helplessness. The once idyllic village was now engulfed in chaos and despair as the inferno advanced, consuming everything in its path. In the midst of the searing heat and swirling smoke, Daniel, the village's unwavering hero, stood as a bulwark of strength. The family he had stayed behind to help watched in sheer horror as the towering flames closed in on them. The air was thick with smoke and embers, and the heat was unbearable. In that desperate moment, as the world seemed to crumble around them, Daniel acted with fearless determination. He shielded the family with his own body, using every ounce of his strength and resolve to protect them from the encroaching inferno. Sparks and flames licked at his clothing, singeing his skin, but he held his ground. The family he had selflessly chosen to save clung to him, their faces etched with a mix of gratitude and dread. The minutes that followed felt like an eternity. The world became a chaotic maelstrom of heat, noise, and blinding light. The forest fire roared around them, a beast untamed and insatiable. The intensity of the flames grew, and the very air they breathed seemed to combust. As the firestorm raged on, the rest of the village, now gathered at a safe distance, watched in helpless horror. They witnessed a selfless act of heroism, the embodiment of courage and sacrifice in its purest form. In that moment, Daniel became the symbol of unwavering bravery and selflessness that Pineville needed. But as the flames drew nearer, a collective sense of despair and grief settled over the onlookers. They realized that Daniel's sacrifice was not in vain, as the family he had chosen to protect was now safe. But they also understood that their hero would not emerge unscathed from the ordeal. The forest fire, merciless and unrelenting, had exacted its toll. Daniel, their fearless leader and protector, was consumed by the flames he had defied. In his final moments, as the world around him blazed with fury, he held on to the knowledge that he had saved lives, that he had fulfilled his duty to his community, and that his legacy would live on as a symbol of sacrifice and heroism. In the aftermath of the devastating chapter, Pineville lay in ruins. The forest that had once cradled them had turned into a fiery abyss, 
reducing the village to ash and cinder. The loss of their homes was a bitter pill to swallow, but the memory of Daniel's selfless act became a guiding light in their darkest hours. Chapter 5 A Hero's Sacrifice is a heart-wrenching and pivotal moment in the story. It portrays the ultimate sacrifice made by Daniel in the face of an unrelenting forest fire, highlighting the depths of human courage and selflessness. The chapter emphasizes the profound impact of his actions on the community, who now must come to terms with their loss while cherishing the memory of their hero. It sets the stage for the emotional and physical aftermath that Pineville must grapple with as they emerge from the ashes. Chapter 6, Pineville in Ruins In the aftermath of the catastrophic forest fire that had consumed their homes and transformed their once thriving village into a charred wasteland, the residents of Pineville found themselves in a state of shock and profound grief. The flames that had raged with such merciless intensity had left behind a desolate scene, one where the remnants of their lives were now reduced to smoldering embers and ash. The very heart of the community lay in ruins. Homes that had stood for generations were reduced to mere skeletons of their former selves, their walls blackened and crumbling, their once cosy interiors now reduced to a maze of charred debris. The streets, once bustling with the daily rhythms of life, were now a jumbled mess of burnt timbers and melted asphalt. Amidst the devastation, a palpable sense of loss hung heavily in the air. The residents of Pineville had not only lost their homes, but their sense of security and the familiar landscapes of their daily lives. The forest that had once been their sanctuary had now turned into a fiery adversary that had exacted a high toll. The physical toll was devastating, but it was the emotional impact that cut the deepest. Families were separated, possessions were lost, and the collective history of Pineville seemed to have gone up in smoke. The grief was shared by all, and the village, which had been known for its tight-knit community, now found itself grappling with the daunting task of rebuilding their lives from the ground up. In the days that followed the disaster, the residents of Pineville began the arduous process of taking stock of their losses and mourning their homes and possessions. The gravity of the situation began to weigh on them, and the enormity of the challenge ahead seemed insurmountable. The loss of Daniel, their hero and guiding light, was felt acutely by all. His memory lingered in every corner of the village, and his selfless sacrifice served as a constant reminder of the immense courage and love he had shown for his community. The people of Pineville found solace in the memory of their hero, whose legacy became a symbol of hope and resilience. In the midst of the ashes and ruins, the residents of Pineville demonstrated their strength and unity. They came together to support one another, sharing what little they had left and offering comfort and solace to those who needed it most. Their sense of community, forged in the crucible of disaster, became a source of strength as they faced the daunting task of rebuilding their lives. Chapter 6, Pineville in Ruins, paints a poignant picture of the aftermath of the devastating forest fire. It showcases the physical and emotional devastation that the community has experienced, emphasizing the loss of their homes, possessions, and their sense of security. The chapter also highlights the profound impact of Daniel's sacrifice, which serves as a beacon of hope and inspiration in their darkest hours. It sets the stage for the resilient spirit of the community as they begin the process of rebuilding from the ashes. Chapter 7, 
Rebuilding Together in the wake of the devastating forest fire that had reduced Pineville to a charred, desolate landscape, the residents of the village faced an immense challenge, rebuilding their lives from the ground up. The flames had stripped them of their homes, their possessions, and the familiar rhythms of their daily existence but the spirit of community and resilience that had defined Pineville for generations was still very much alive. As the residents emerged from the initial shock and grief that had engulfed them, a determination to reclaim their village began to take root. The ruins that lay before them were a stark reminder of the devastation but they also served as a testament to their strength and unity. The people of Pineville knew that they could not remain mired in despair. They had to pick up the pieces and rebuild. The process of rebuilding was a daunting one. Families who had been separated during the chaos of the fire reunited, their bonds strengthened by the shared experience of loss. The community came together to offer support and comfort to those in need, sharing what little they had left and lending a helping hand in the arduous work of cleaning up and planning for the future. The first order of business was to clear away the debris left by the fire. The streets, once cluttered with charred timbers and debris, began to slowly regain their former shape. The remnants of the ruined homes were carefully removed, and the village's heart began to beat once more. The process of rebuilding was not limited to the physical structures of the village. It extended to the emotional well-being of the residents as well. Grief counseling and support groups were established to help individuals and families cope with the loss of their homes and possessions. The memories of the forest fire were a constant presence, but the community came together to heal and find solace in their shared experiences. In this chapter, the memory of Daniel, the hero who had sacrificed himself to save others, continued to loom large. His legacy served as a source of inspiration for the community as they faced the daunting task of rebuilding. The memory of his selfless courage became a guiding light, reminding the residents of Pineville of the importance of unity and selflessness in the face of adversity. The physical and emotional toll of the forest fire was immense, but the residents of Pineville were determined to rise from the ashes. The ruins of their village were a stark testament to the destructive power of nature, but they were also a testament to the indomitable human spirit. Together, they began the slow and arduous process of rebuilding, turning tragedy into an opportunity for renewal and growth. Chapter 7, Rebuilding Together, highlights the resilience and unity of the community as they confront the immense challenge of rebuilding their lives and their village. It portrays the emotional and physical toll of the disaster and underscores the importance of shared support and the memory of Daniel as a source of inspiration. The chapter sets the stage for the community's journey of renewal and the reconstruction of their beloved Pineville. Chapter 8 Lessons Learned in the wake of the devastating forest fire that had left Pineville in ruins, the residents of the village found themselves in a state of reflection. The tragedy had been a profound and transformative experience, one that had tested their mettle, shattered their lives, and, in the process, revealed the depths of their resilience and unity. As they began the painstaking process of rebuilding their community, 
the lessons learned from the catastrophe became an indelible part of their collective consciousness. The first and perhaps most poignant lesson was the stark realization of the unpredictable and unforgiving power of nature. The forest, which had been their sanctuary, had turned into a relentless adversary. The residents of Pineville had come face to face with the inherent vulnerability of their existence, and their dependence on the delicate balance of the natural world. The forest fire had driven home the point that even in the most serene and idyllic settings, danger could lurk just beyond the horizon. The second lesson that emerged from the disaster was the importance of preparation and community solidarity. The fire had ignited a sense of urgency and responsibility within the villagers, prompting them to create fire breaks, stockpile water, and educate themselves about fire safety. They had learned that when facing adversity, their strength lay not just in individual resolve, but in the collective action and support of their community. The memory of Daniel, their hero, continued to serve as a powerful reminder of the value of selflessness and courage. His sacrifice had epitomized the ideals of unity and sacrifice, and his legacy lived on as a guiding beacon for Pineville. The residents understood that it was not the absence of fear but the willingness to act in the face of fear that defined true heroism. As the village began to rebuild, a deeper appreciation for the bonds of community and the importance of togetherness had taken root. The tragedy had forged new connections and reinforced existing ones. Families who had been separated during the disaster had reunited, their bonds strengthened by the shared experience of loss. The community had learned that in times of crisis, the support of loved ones and neighbors was an invaluable source of strength and solace. The residents of Pineville also recognized the need for ongoing preparedness and vigilance. The memory of the forest fire would not fade easily, and they understood that the threat of a similar disaster would always loom. They continued to refine their emergency plans, conduct regular drills, and remain vigilant to ensure that they would be better prepared to confront future challenges. Chapter 8 Lessons Learned encapsulates the deep reflections and transformative realizations that the residents of Pineville experienced in the aftermath of the forest fire. It underscores the profound lessons about the unpredictable power of nature, the importance of preparation and community solidarity, and the enduring legacy of Daniel's selflessness and heroism. It sets the stage for the ongoing journey of renewal, preparedness, and the cultivation of a resilient community that has emerged from the ashes of disaster. Chapter 9 Honoring Daniel In the aftermath of the forest fire that had devastated Pineville and claimed the life of their beloved hero, Daniel, the community found itself united not only in grief, but in their determination to honor the memory of the man who had sacrificed himself to save others. Chapter 9 is a tribute to the enduring legacy of Daniel and the profound impact he had on the lives of the residents of Pineville. A sense of loss and reverence enveloped the village, and the memory of Daniel was a constant presence. His act of selflessness, his courage in the face of the forest fire, became a source of inspiration for all. Daniel's name was synonymous with heroism, and his legacy served as a reminder of the importance of unity and selflessness in the face of adversity. To honor Daniel's memory, the community came together to create a memorial park in his name. It became a place of solace and reflection, 
nestled amidst the remnants of the forest he had loved so dearly. The park was adorned with plaques and statues that paid tribute to his bravery and selflessness, and it served as a place where people could gather to remember their hero. The unveiling of the memorial park was a solemn and emotional occasion. The residents of Pineville, along with family members of those who had been saved by Daniel, gathered to pay their respects. It was a moment of reflection and gratitude, a reminder of the enduring impact one individual's actions could have on an entire community. The park became a place of quiet contemplation, where people could reflect on the lessons learned from the forest fire and the importance of selflessness and courage in the face of adversity. It was a place where the memory of Daniel lived on, a constant reminder of the heroism that had defined their community. In addition to the Memorial Park, Pineville established an annual tradition to celebrate the legacy of Daniel. Each year, on the anniversary of the Forest Fire, the community would come together for a day of remembrance and reflection. It was a time for sharing stories, offering support, and reinforcing the bonds of community that had been forged in the crucible of disaster. The memory of Daniel also lived on in the stories passed down through generations. Children in Pineville grew up hearing about the hero who had selflessly sacrificed himself to save others. His name became a symbol of bravery and selflessness, a reminder of the enduring impact one person could have on a community. Chapter 9, Honoring Daniel, is a tribute to the enduring legacy of the hero who had sacrificed himself to save others. It underscores the profound impact of his actions on the community and the enduring lessons of selflessness and courage. The chapter captures the community's determination to remember and honor their hero, ensuring that his memory lives on as a source of inspiration for generations to come. It serves as a fitting conclusion to a story marked by tragedy, resilience, and the enduring spirit of community. Chapter 10 The New Pineville the transformation of Pineville, a community that had faced the devastation of a forest fire with courage, unity, and unwavering resilience, continued to evolve in the wake of the tragedy. Chapter 10 marks the culmination of this journey, revealing the emergence of a new Pineville, a community that had been tested by fire and had risen from the ashes with a renewed spirit and a vision for the future. The physical rebuilding of Pineville had made significant progress. New homes had sprung up in place of the charred ruins, reflecting not just the architectural reconstruction but the indomitable human spirit. These new houses were not merely structures, they were symbols of the community's determination to move forward. The scars of the past were visible but they were reminders of the strength that had emerged from adversity. The village streets, once filled with debris and desolation, had been cleared and rebuilt. Shops and businesses that had once thrived in Pineville were slowly reopening, as residents and entrepreneurs seized the opportunity to rebuild their livelihoods. The landscape was changing, but the sense of community remained as strong as ever. The lessons learned from the forest fire had prompted the residents to prioritize disaster preparedness and safety. The annual tradition of remembrance on the anniversary of the fire had evolved into an opportunity to conduct drills and educate the younger generation about fire safety. The community had vowed to remain vigilant and prepared, 
ensuring that they would not be caught off guard again. The memory of Daniel, the hero who had given his life to save others, was not just a part of the village's history, it was woven into its very fabric. The Daniel Memorial Park, a place of reflection and remembrance, stood as a testament to his bravery. The annual tradition of honoring his legacy had become a cherished event, a reminder of the importance of selflessness and courage. The tragedy had also brought about a new spirit of camaraderie and unity within Pineville. Neighbors who had once been mere acquaintances had become like family, bound by their shared experience. The bonds of community were stronger than ever and the residents had a renewed sense of gratitude for the people who had stood by them during their darkest hours. As the new Pineville continued to take shape, it was a community defined not by the tragedy it had faced, but by the strength, resilience, and unity that had emerged from it. The village was now not just a place to live, but a testament to the power of human spirit. It was a community that had been tested by fire and had emerged stronger, a place where the memory of the past was honored but the focus was on the future. Chapter 10, The New Pineville, is the culmination of a story that began with tragedy and ended with hope and renewal. It highlights the physical and emotional transformation of the community and underscores the enduring legacy of Daniel's heroism. The chapter captures the spirit of a community that had risen from the ashes and emerged as a testament to the indomitable human spirit. It serves as a fitting conclusion to a story of courage, resilience, and the enduring power of community.